In this digital economy, we're finding that there are so many more data sources for organizations. What that means is it presents a challenge to the organization about how to deliver uh, insight to business users. And those who can quickly interpret and analyze their data can not only adapt and survive, but can mature and grow. That's essentially active intelligence. What we're trying to do is arm business users, individuals, organizations, companies, healthcare organizations, government, with the right information so that they can make the right decision in the moment. And, and that moment has become ever more pressing. You know, it's now, it's not, let me look at what happened last week or the week before, it's really the present. And it's not just big business using data analytics. Many government agencies like the DESE, the Australian Department of Education, Skills and Employment, are using platforms like Click to access real-time accurate data immediately. To communicate that data to people of varying familiarity with data across their organisation and also to act on the information. We have to connect a lot of that data together and it might be data about um, training, might be data about employment, might be data about individuals. How do we tell a story that supports us to do the best program management or the best policy decisions and then advise government and provide services to our, to our Australians? During the pandemic, Click's mapping visualisation capability enabled the DESE to quickly identify socio-geographic data to see where the job seekers live and what services they need. There were hundreds and thousands of people in small communities who were needing our assistance. We were able to use the mapping capability combined with data about demographics and about people's experience to develop local community solutions. So how do employees in businesses and government organisations understand and use these data visualisations? It's what's become known as data literacy, upskilling staff in the language of real-time insights. What we have invested in is uh, a significant amount of uh, materials, online materials for organizations to take advantage of. It's the other piece of the puzzle. So data literacy is so important and it's gonna become even more important for us as we go forward. Health departments, restaurants, even police departments are getting immediate insights on their live data. It enables better policing. It enables better community safety. So there are a number of aspects to policing that are informed by data. You know, where are hotspots for crimes? Uh, where do we need to protect people? Where are vulnerable people? Where are people with disabilities or mental health issues? Australian law firm Minter Ellison is adopting Click's machine learning active intelligence platform to make predictive insights. On one hand, you can see what the utilization of our resources uh, lawyers and partners were yesterday and day before and last year and so forth but you can also now predict what is going to be tomorrow and day after and, and next week and next month so it, it's been incredibly insightful and, and a rich experience for our users. Minter Ellison says it can act on real-time insights rather than historic data helping it to grow even in these difficult times. We sit on a immensely rich set of data and we have been able to now successfully use platforms like Click to solve both existing problems, but also identify uh, opportunities for the organization as, as we look to obviously grow uh, amidst the pandemic and, and, and meet our some of our 2025 uh, aspirational goals. There's little doubt that moving forward, having access to end-to-end -end data analytics will be the answer to the ever-pressing need for split-second reaction that could solve problems, mitigate risks and create value.